We can clearly say we've been through 2022 already. There is no one in the right mind who would say otherwise. We're in 2023 period. Well, are we? The answer is shocking. In Ethiopia, it's still 2016, but why? Every single person on earth can say with certainty that we're in 2023. However, Ethiopians would disagree. Here's the why. But before that, we'd appreciate it if you hit the like button on this video as it enables more people see our content. The Ethiopia has a different opinion when it comes to what date it is. Ethiopia, as you may know, was never colonized, so a lot of the political and cultural aspects of Ethiopia were never influenced by Western colonists. Ethiopia currently uses the Ethiopian calendar, which is based on the ancient Coptic calendar and is still seven to eight years behind the Gregorian calendar, which is widely used in the world. The Ethiopian calendar has 13 months, 12 of which have 30 days, and the 13th, called Pabium, has five or six days depending on whether it is a leap year. The reasons for the miscalculation is that the Ethiopian calendar, which is based on the ancient Coptic calendar, is said to have been adjusted to align with the solar calendar by the 16th century Ethiopian monk, Abba Petros. But this adjustment was not accurate, so it resulted in the calendar being seven to eight years behind the Gregorian calendar. This causes confusion when trying to coordinate with the rest of the world, as well as difficulties for business and trade. In 1582, Pope Gregory XEI established the Gregorian calendar, which he named after himself. At first, it was only the Catholic countries of Europe and their overseas possessions that adopted it. Despite years of opposition, many Protestant and Eastern Orthodox countries eventually adopted the calendar. Greece, for example, adopted the Gregorian calendar in 1923. In the Gregorian calendar, the Ethiopian New Year, also known as Inkutatash in Amharic, falls on September 11th. However, the new year falls on September 12th in the year preceding a leap year. When the rest of the world celebrates Christmas on December 25, Ethiopians celebrate it on January 7. In the Ethiopian calendar, a leap year occurs every four years, as opposed to the Gregorian calendar, where a leap year occurs in a year that is an integer multiple of four. Years that are evenly divisible by 100 do not count as leap years unless they are also evenly divisible by 400. Both the Gregorian and Ethiopian calendars are solar. That is, the dates represent the season or the position of the sun in relation to the stars. The four evangelists are associated with the leap year cycle in Ethiopia. The leap year is known as the Luke year, while the following year is known as the John year. Following the John year come the Matthew and Mark years. A year in the Ethiopian calendar has 365 days, 6 hours, 2 minutes, and 24 seconds, according to an article on Culture Trip. Surprisingly, the 6 hours add up to 24 hours once every 4 years, resulting in the extra day in the leap year. Furthermore, the 2 minutes and 24 seconds add up to 24 hours once every 600 years, resulting in the seventh day. Ethiopians refer to this day as Rina Melt or Rina Lelit. The 13th month is known as Pagium, which comes from the Greek word epigomi, which means days forgotten when calculating a calendar year. Ethiopian Christians observe this month by bathing in holy water. They believe that this action heals and cleanses them in preparation for Christ's return. Ethiopians continue to use the Ethiopian calendar today. This makes Ethiopia a one-of-a-kind destination, particularly if you want to celebrate New Year's and Christmas twice. Overall, most Ethiopians are familiar with the Gregorian calendar, and some use both. One of the advantages of the Ethiopian calendar is its simplicity. Unlike other calendars, such as the Gregorian calendar, which has complex rules for determining leap years, the Ethiopian calendar has a simple rule for determining leap years. Every four years, an additional day is added to the 13th month, making it a leap year. 
This makes it easy for people to keep track of the calendar and plan for future events. Another advantage of the Ethiopian calendar is its cultural significance. The calendar is deeply rooted in Ethiopia's history and culture and is an important part of the country's identity. Many Ethiopian festivals and holidays are based on the calendar, such as Inkutatash, which marks the beginning of the Ethiopian New Year. This helps to preserve the country's cultural heritage and traditions. However, the Ethiopian calendar also has some disadvantages. One of the biggest disadvantages is that it is not widely used outside of Ethiopia. This can create confusion and difficulties for those who need to communicate or work with people from other countries. The calendar is not recognized by the international community, which can cause problems for businesses and organizations that operate internationally. Another disadvantage is that the Ethiopian calendar is not synchronized with the agricultural cycle. The calendar is based on the solar year, but the agricultural cycle is based on the rainy season, which does not always align with the calendar. This can cause problems for farmers and others who depend on the agricultural cycle for their livelihoods. The Ethiopian calendar has both advantages and disadvantages. While it is simple and culturally significant, it is not widely used outside of Ethiopia and can create difficulties for businesses and organizations that operate internationally. Additionally, it is not synchronized with the agricultural cycle, which can create problems for farmers. Despite this, the Ethiopian calendar is an important part of Ethiopia's history and culture and continues to be used by the country's population. One of the most significant cultural aspects of the Ethiopian calendar is the way it is used to mark important religious holidays. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church follows the Julian calendar, which is slightly different from the Ethiopian calendar. This means that religious holidays such as Christmas and Epiphany fall on different dates than they do in the Western world. This can create confusion for outsiders, but for Ethiopians, it is a way of marking the unique cultural identity of their country. The Ethiopian calendar is also closely tied to the agricultural cycle of the country. Many of the months are named after the crops that are harvested during that time. The calendar is also used to mark important events in the lives of farmers, such as planting and harvest seasons. In addition to its practical uses, the Ethiopian calendar also holds deep cultural and spiritual significance for the people of Ethiopia. The calendar is seen as a reflection of the natural cycles of the world and the harmony between humanity and the environment. It is also seen as a symbol of the continuity of Ethiopian culture and history, as it has been in use for over 2,000 years. Overall, the Ethiopian calendar is a rich and complex system of timekeeping that is deeply embedded in the culture and history of Ethiopia. It serves not only as a practical tool for marking the passage of time, but also as a symbol of the unique identity and spiritual traditions of the Ethiopian people. It is important for us to also emphasize how truly important it is that Ethiopia maintains its calendar and its cultural identity. Ethiopia is a country with a rich cultural heritage that has been passed down through generations. It is important for Ethiopia to maintain its cultural identity for several reasons. First, cultural identity is a fundamental aspect of human identity. It shapes how individuals see themselves and their place in the world. By maintaining its cultural identity, Ethiopia can ensure that its people feel a sense of belonging and connection to their heritage. Second, Ethiopia's cultural identity is closely tied to its history and tradition. It is the repository of Ethiopia's history, customs, beliefs, and values. By maintaining its cultural identity, Ethiopia can preserve its history and tradition for future generations. Third, Ethiopia's cultural identity is an important aspect of its national identity. It is a source of pride for the Ethiopian people and a symbol of their unity and strength. By maintaining its cultural identity, Ethiopia can strengthen its national identity and promote a sense of unity among its people. Finally, Ethiopia's cultural identity is closely tied to its calendar. Ethiopia is one of the few countries in the world that still uses its own calendar, which is based on the Julian calendar. 
The Ethiopian calendar is an important aspect of Ethiopia's cultural identity and is important for Ethiopia to maintain it in order to preserve its cultural identity. Maintaining Ethiopia's cultural identity is essential for its people, its history and tradition, its national identity and its calendar. It is important for Ethiopia to continue to preserve and promote its cultural heritage for the benefit of current and future generations. In conclusion, Ethiopia has a rich and diverse history and cultural heritage that spans millennia. From the ancient civilization of Aksum to the powerful empires of the medieval period, Ethiopia has played a significant role in shaping the history of the region. The country is also home to a wide variety of ethnic groups, each with their own distinct customs, traditions, languages, and of course its calendar. Ethiopia's rich cultural heritage is reflected in its architecture, art, music, and cuisine, and is an important part of the country's national identity. Despite facing many challenges throughout its history, Ethiopia has managed to preserve its unique cultural heritage and continues to be a source of pride for its people. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any of our future content.